Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. Introducing Flux Contacts. Well, a new model called Flux One Contacts has just been launched by Black Forest Lab. This is an image editing tool and it's part of a growing trend of AI models focusing on in context editing. So we've seen other models like ChatGPT, Dreamy One, and Omni Consistency offering similar in-context editing features. However, in this video, we'll cover Flux One Context because it stands out for outperforming many of its competitors. Let's dive in. I've also tried Bagel from ByteDance, but honestly, the performance wasn't as good as what people on the internet are saying. So in reality, after testing it myself, I found it lacking, so I didn't include it in my video. On the other hand, the Flux One Contacts performed really well when I tested it a few times on the official Flux Playground website. So it genuinely impressed me and I want to talk about why. So when you scroll down to their page, you'll see plenty of examples and the roadmap for the models. So currently they have Flux One Contacts Max and Flux One Contacts Pro versions, which are server-based APIs available publicly. You can try them out with different providers as well. There's also a Flux One Contacts dev version, which will be open source. This version distilled variations of the model, allowing you to run it privately on your local PC or private server. So first, by testing it out on the Black Forest Lab official site Playground, where you can try both the Context Max and Context Pro versions in the Flux Playground. So here's how it works. Okay, so to start, I have a photo of a woman standing here, posing side view, and my prompt is tilt her head towards the camera. Let's click Generate. And here are the results. So the results are impressive. And as you can see, our characters remain consistent across all four images matching the one I uploaded. And this time we can see her head is tilting towards the camera, which is what we asked for. Very nice. Next, I asked the model to make her laugh and we have the result. We still have four generated images and this is the first image. You can see she's laughing. We have the same character, the same outfit, the same position. We have the second image right here. We have the third image right here. She's smiling, still same outfit, same position. And then next we have here another prompt. I said, make her hold an umbrella and we have the result. So the results are impressive. Our character still remain consistent. Very, very nice. So I have another photo right here and the prompt is change the setting to the park. And here are the results. So the quality is impressive. Our character remain consistent and we have the setting, which what we asked for, which is the park. Very nice. Next, I have another prompt here. I said, now the man is sitting drinking beer in the park. And look at that. We have four really good looking images. So as you can see, we have our character right here. He's drinking beer, sitting in the park. Still looking at the sky, we have the second image right here. The third image looks like he's actually drinking the beer. And the fourth image, the quality is very, very impressive. So the rendering time on the Black Forest Lab playground is incredibly fast. I suspect these AI models are computationally heavy because as with other in-context image editing models, they require significant resources. So if you have a mediocre graphics card, you probably won't be able to run them smoothly, but Black Forest Lab servers handle it exceptionally well. So despite the background changes, the character and the outfit remain consistent. So this is exactly how in-context image editing works. You don't need to write extensive text prompts. It's designed to be convenient for users to input minimal instructions and get quick edits or quick results. So let's start over and see what else we can experiment with. For example, let's use this image as a base. So we'll ask the model to change the text into Technic Force. And just like that, we get four generated images. So as you can see, the model is capable of in-context editing within an image, generating text with coherent and consistent styles based on the reference image. Out of the four images, we only got one photo that actually followed our prompt. So we have the Technic Forest right here at the top and Technic Forest right here below. So others got the text wrong. It's missing some letters and some minor spelling errors 
crop up though. But this image right here got it exactly what we asked for. So pretty cool stuff, right? Still, there's room for improvement when it comes to text within images. So I have another prompt right here. I said a giant ball made of fluffy dogs rolling through the street. And we have the result right here. So we have a giant ball made of corgis right here. I really like the result. I have another base image right here. And I said change the setting into forest. The monkey is sitting beside the river eating milk fish. And we have the results right here. So the first image, there's the monkey sitting beside the river. I, I can't see any fish, which what we asked for. The second image, there's the fish right there, but he's not eating it. The third image as well. But the fourth image, I think this one got close to our prompt. He's actually eating the fish, but I'm not sure if it's milk fish. But the location is in the forest. He's sitting beside the river, which is very cool. I have another base image right here and I said change the setting into streets and change her outfit color into pink. And there we go. So we got the same character right there but she's sitting in the street and her outfit is color pink as well as her shoes which what we asked for. Still drinking maybe that's a coke or something. I actually like the third image. It's very cinematic. I've also asked it to change the setting into studio as if she's taking a photo shoot. Still the same outfit, which is color pink and everything. And we got the result right here. Flux Context Pro and Flux Context Max are two versions of the model, with Max offering significantly higher performance than Pro, as mentioned on their page. So back to the playground, let's try out the Flux One Context Max. Using the context max, let's attach this image here and ask the model to change the character into a cyberpunk futuristic style with a black leather jacket and fair wings on the back. So let's wait for the results. So this time the output isn't quite the same as my reference image. Let's try again with a simpler text prompt right here. And here are the four generated images. So you can see that the results lean more toward a cyberpunk feel, though some resemble a dark magic style. The leather jacket texture might have led the AI to interpret it as a more cyberpunk. Still, the character's face, pose, and overall shape remain consistent with the uploaded image. So it's pretty impressive image editing from Flux, and I think this AI model outperforms many other image editing AI models in certain features, especially in terms of consistency. So the character details remain intact throughout the process. So check it out for yourself. You can try the Flux One Context Pro and Max versions on the Flux Playground. And something to note though, while it handles simple tasks well, it struggles with more complex or unique styles of editing. But you can definitely check it out, try it for yourself, and see what you think. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. See you next time. Introducing Radix AI, but it's done for you. No more prompt struggles. Get your work done and dusted in 60 seconds or less. Streamline your workflow and boost productivity. Radix pre-built AI workflows handle everything from content creation and marketing to data analysis and reporting. Simply choose your tasks, fill in a few details, and get instant professional results. 300 plus workflows cover nearly everything your business needs to do. Multitask flows, one click to done. No prompt, no problem. Our interactive AI gets you there just like an expert consultant. Craft your own workflows. Multilingual, work in any language. Designed for busy professionals who need AI that works without the hassle. Deep thinking AI models like GPT-40 Mini, GPT-4, Grok Beta AI, Grok 3, DeepSeek R1, and more. Costume workflows and limitless automation. So what are you waiting for? Get Rytex now. Just go to getrytex.in.